This is it. The end of the road for Chelsea Football Club in the Carabao Cup 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, remember this morning I made a video and my title was Be careful, banana skin. Warning, banana skin game. And I told you how much I hate since James Park. We don't win often there. We struggle. Not a new thing. Since ever, when we go there, we struggle for many, many reasons. Even under the almighty Jose Moreno, Frank Lampard, Didier Drogba, John Terry, we were struggling to win a game over there. And I told you to be careful. Go watch that video. Read the comment down below. You will see people calling me clown. Our B team is better than everybody. Like we have the best team in the world. I was like, be careful. Talk is cheap. Stop talking. There are certain people who just react or ju they just want attention from you. And they're going to just insult you because insult is going to is gonna attract more so they wanna bring some negativity and insult you because they know better they know everything there's no like intellectual analysis or anything they just throw some punches there just because they wanna get away from their miseries or something is happening with today's generation intellectual thinking is not taken to consideration I told you and now you have the answer but I was positive though even though I knew that it was going to be difficult, I wanted to win this game. It didn't happen. We are out of the competition. And I'm not happy, bro. I am not happy. This video is about my player ratings. But can anybody explain to me why we bring 20 people to Newcastle? Private jet and not give them a chance. What do you have to lose the last minute, 10 minutes to go? You are losing 2-0. Throw the freaking kitchen sink out there. Put everybody, anybody that you can find there. We have sub five subs and we've only made one. Noni Madweke. I'm gonna give him three out of 10. I'm gonna explain. This is the only change that we made. Chile was there, Casade was there, Chukwemeka was there, Mark Gio was there. The last minute, and we know Christopher Nkunku was struggling, Joao Felix was struggling. What do you have to lose, bro? Bring Gio in, throw the kitchen sink. He's tall, powerful. The kid wanna play. He has nothing to lose because you are losing already. Throw some offensive players out there. Even if you concede the third goal, it's nothing. Just do something. Show some urgency. We didn't show any urgency. We didn't make many changes. I don't know why we're keeping players on the bench. Chukwemeka, what do that boy need to do? Felix is struggling. Bring Chuku. What's wrong with this guy? So Mareska today, 50% of the problems today from the manager, the strategy, the lineup, and 50% from the players because they were also poor. When we created few chances, they couldn't capitalize them. Wait for one more time today. So today I'm going to give everybody from two to six. No more than that. And for six, I'll go with Mikalo Modric because I've seen a lot of changes in this brother. He was the only guy that was trying to create something. Put some very good crosses in the box many, many times. Nkunku, wasting them. Joao Felix, wasting them. What else really do you want Misha to do? Probably he could have done better. Probably shoot himself. Probably try to dribble past everybody and score. But he did what he could. He's the only guy today that I'm going to give 6 out of 10. I might be biased on this one. Probably somebody else deserves more points. But I don't care. We are out of the competition. 
we lost as a team and nobody is gonna get any kind of favor from me today beside Mikalo Modric. Enzo Fernand, uh, Enzo Maresca, let's start by Enzo Maresca. He's gonna get three out of 10 because of what I just said, you know, poor selections, poor tactic, tactics. He didn't make changes and I don't know, he was out of character today because we know that he always make very, very quick subs. Today, he didn't do anything. I don't know. Like I said, 50-50 because the players also let him down. We created chances, opportunities. You don't take them. What do you expect the manager to do? Disassi was a disaster today. Where is Disassi? I'm going to give him 2 out of 10 score and on goal and it was poor because we conceded 2 goals today. I mean, we had the ball, but domination sometimes means nothing. You know, you can have the ball, but what do you do with the ball? He scored an own goal, and Badia Shil, ah, man, I'm not going to even waste your time here. Badia Shil, 3 out of 10. Calamity, the first goal, came from a calamity of mistakes from the goalkeeper to Badia Shile to Vega. But all that is instructions from the manager. The manager tells them to play that way. If you don't play that way, you are going to be subbed or you're not going to play anymore. So they are afraid of making intelligent decisions. The next thing that Mareska need to do is to tell them to use common sense sometimes. When your brother is under pressure, three players behind behind him don't pass him the ball because he's under pressure he's not gonna win it because there are people who got more momentum behind him three out of ten i don't want to get too mad today but tosen three out of ten very slow a lot of mistakes but he wasn't the worst on the pitch though uh who else <laughs> yogeson yogeson all of them three out of ten could have done better but the defense when you don't have a good defense, you don't have a good midfield, you look average. So I can't really judge him properly, but he conceded two goals. And he tried also to dribble past, uh, I don't know, Isaac, Isaac, that is his name, or Joelinton or somebody. Successfully did it, but it was very risky. We were not far away from conceding the third goal because of Jorgensen. But he did good though, so... 3 out of 10. Korea, 3 out of 10. All over the place today, but he wasn't the worst on the pitch. Enzo Maresca, not why am I why am I calling him Enzo Maresca? Enzo Fernandez, 3 out of 10. Captain, you're supposed to bail us out. Okay? Sometimes do some magic. You are the most expensive player. You are the captain. You are the marquee signing. You are the um the playmaker, you have to create magic. Don't only blame everybody else. It's everybody's fault, not Enzo's. When we win, it's Enzo's masterclass. If we lose, it's Gallagher's fault. It's Manson Mount's fault. It's Donald Trump's fault. No, nobody want to blame him. Nobody want to state fact on him. But he was part of the problem too. He didn't create magic. Let's be honest here, without the fear of getting abused by an army of professional pro professional evil people that will get on you because you mentioned Enzo. He's, he, there's nothing special about Enzo. Let's be honest. He needs to improve. Vega, 3 out of 10. For the first goal, he was part of the problem. And... He got a chance that he should probably strike to the goalkeeper or was a deflection or something. Could have done better. But today, he was all over the place. Joao Felix, 2 out of 10. So many chances created for him. He didn't do anything. He didn't create any magic. And I see the reason why Barcelona didn't keep him and Atletico wanted him out at any cost. Nkunku, 2 out of 10. The same wasteful today. Misha was putting some very good crosses for him to miss 
over and over and over again. Today, you let me down, Mr. Nkunku. And KDH, 3 out of 10, he played out of position as a winger. I can't blame everything on him. But if you are a good player, you, sh you, you should also create some magic even from the wrong position. Did that make sense? I'm done, man. Oh, <laughs>